do we mean by adjectives? Every student knows an adjective, right? In English, some examples are big, small, intelligent, and red. They're all adjectives. Teacher Kofi will read a short text for us, and then we shall go through it and sort out the adjectives in it. Madame Fukusi. Ye fre Madame Fu Baku Kusi. Kusi free Kumase Nanso Oti Gaysville. Okosuku wo UF. Kusi fie be misuku. If you are not a fit, you are a sissy anim. If you are a fit, you are a fit. If you are a fit, you are a fit. If you are a Ka ketua fitabi. Ka nu sha dodomano. Kusi wo miyamba ba akon. Ye freno akosia. Akosia tinwi dosu. Ena ne se ye fita. Ne satia fe fe fe. Akosia ho ye fe pa. Me penasem pa. O wan kran ketua mienu. O pen krano asem pa. Now listen carefully as teacher Kofi says these sentences in a kind and I provide the English translation. Madame fu kusi. My friend kusi. Ye fret madame fu ba ku kusi. They call one of my friends kusi. Kusi fri kumase nanso oti gainsville. Kusi is from Kumasi, but he lives in Gainesville. Okosuku wo UF. He goes to school at UF. Kusi fie be misuku. Kusi's house is near the school, his school, near his school. E fie lu ye fita ena uhre fe fe sisi anim. The house is white and has beautiful flowers in front. E ye fie kasie pa. It is a large house and has several rooms inside. And also it has large windows. Several students live in the house. Kosi is big and tall. Nanso awoka ketua fitabi. But he has a small white sort of car. Car no sha dodomano. The car is much too small for him. Kusi wo nya ba ba ko. Kusi has one sister. Ye friend Akosia. They call her Akosia. Akosia ti mi dorso ena ne se ye fita. Akosia has a lot of hair and her teeth are white. Her her fingers are beautiful. Akosia huya fe pa. Akosia is very beautiful. Me pet nasem pa. I like her a lot. Owon kran kitwa mienu. She has two small cats. O pet en kran no asem pa. She likes the cats a lot. Now pay close attention as teacher Kofi points out and says the adjectives in these phrases. Fita, fefe, kesie, bibri, akesie, still have bibri, ketua, fita, fita, Fe 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 Nketua. We made these adjectives in blue. So look at how look pay attention to it and look hard at them and how the sentences are near these blue words. 
How do they look? Do they look like the adjectives in English? There's a difference with some of them, isn't there? These are the adjectives that act differently from English adjectives. So listen carefully as Teacher Kofi says them in a kind and I provide the English translation. Big house. Big windows. A lot of rooms. A small, some small type of white car. Small, small cats. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful fingers. What is the difference between these adjectives and English adjectives? <laughs> well, is it? Or oh, they differ because of Kofefe has different sounds, the other yeah, different sounds or symbols which English <laughs> does not have, or they are pronounced with tones. No, I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in the order, because in a kind, the adjectives um, are are after the noun, so that's what's important here. Yeah, I fear so. Look here, we have fear that is house. Our noun. Can see it. So that's our noun, and that's our adjective. Yes. Mpuma, which is our noun, mm -hmm. that's our adjective. Yes. Adain, that's our noun. Bebre, that's our adjective. Uh, so, ka, ketua, fita. So you have a noun. Mm -hmm. This is an adjective, ketua. Fita, which is also an, another adjective. No. Mpuma, that is window. Mm -hmm. Akesia, that is big. Yes. So you have the noun and the adjective. Yes. Adain, that is okay. Houses. Mm -hmm. And you have bebre, that's a lot or several. Mm -hmm. So that is a noun and that is an adjective. You have ka, ketua, fita. So you have ka, which is car, mm -hmm. or vehicle. Then you have ketua, small. And we have fita, white. So you have one adjective and another. Then we have nkra, nkra, nketua. This is cat, nkra. Mm -hmm. Nketua, that is small. So you have small cat. Yes. So this is a noun and an adjective. Then nkrin, fe fe, nkrin is flowers. Yes. That's a noun. They are fe fe, beautiful. So you have beautiful flowers. So fe fe, is an adjective. In satia, fe, fe, fe. So in satia, that is a thing, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that is a noun. Yeah. Then you have fe, fe, beautiful. Yeah. So in satia, fe, fe, beautiful fingers. fingers. So what is important to emphasize and to remember here is the order of the noun. English always puts the, we'll have our, our adjective before our noun. So in the case of cats, small it would say we would have said small cats so you have to make sure that you're putting your noun first cats and what what do, how are we going to describe the cat describe the attributes of the cat after you mention the cat so once you mention the cat then you can tell its size that's the major difference whereas in english i would say i have a large cat in a kind i would say i would say me wo o kra kiss here I have a large cat. Note that fefe and fefe fe have a similar meaning. Meaning, the only difference is that when I, if I were to use fefe fe, I'm just overemphasizing how beautiful something is. So that's something important to note when you want to um, emphasize the beauty of a person or a thing. Note also that there are some attributes attributive adjectives that come after others in as in in this case we have our noun and then we have ketua uh, which is an adjective and then we have another adjective right after it which is white fita 
And the B in this case means certain, a certain. In this case, we have our noun, and then we have ketua, uh, which is an adjective, and then we have another adjective right after it, which is white, fita. And the B in this case means certain, a certain. The important thing to note with these adjectives is that they don't have to, when, when you have more than one in an order, certain attribute a adjectives do not, it does not matter which order they come in. The one that does matter is the number adjective. It will always be at the end. So for instance, in these sentences, we have de bre, it's like a lot. That's our number adjective. It could be non, nine, I mean nine is four. It could be baco. Mm -hmm. Just it's going to be a number at this end. Now, the other adjectives can interchange. So listen uh, as Teacher Kofi says the first sentence, and then I'll provide the English translation. A lot of flowers that are tall, what, a lot of tall, large, beautiful flowers. This next one. A lot of large, beautiful, tall flowers. A lot of beautiful, tall, large flowers. Do you see how that works? Certain adjectives can be interchanged within the sentence. It does not matter the order that they come in. But the number adjective must be at the end of the sentence. Note that some adjectives in a can are only attributive. A well-known attributive adjective is pa. Pa, which means good. It occurs in words like nipa pa, adam for pa, suku pa, asem pa. So nipa pa. Good person. Adam for pa. Good friend. School pa. Good school. Asem pa. Good news. Afia, I have a very interesting song about pa. Okay. Do you want to learn? Ani. Yo. Are you ready to learn the song? Listen carefully as Teacher Kofi introduces this song to us. I'm so excited. I'm going to walk you through the song. Okay. And I want you to translate it for them. Yo. Yadinampa Abba. We have brought good fish. Yadinampa Abba. We have brought good fish. Afar for a ye free poso. We are fishermen from the sea. Coming from the sea. Yadinampa Abba. We have brought good fish. I think by now you should be able to sing with me, right? Well, let's hear you sing it once <laughs> okay. first, and then we'll try. Yedinam Pabo, Yedinam Pabo, Afari Fua, Yefri Poso, Yedinam Pabo. Oh, let's try it again, song. yes. Yedinam Pabo, Yedinam Pabo, Afari Fua, Yefri Poso, Yedinam Pabo. One more time, maybe. <laughs> Just to get it. <laughs> now we are going to clap our hands, then you join us sing the song. Right? One, two. Now, the thing that this song is supposed to emphasize and that you're supposed to gather from this song is that we're putting our, our adjective after our noun. So we have uh, our fish, good. Fish, good. Fish, good. And again, fish, good. So just pay attention to the order that they go in. In our dictionary, we shall specify whether an adjective is an attributive adjective so that you can use it properly. Sometimes, translations of adjectives that you find in dictionaries can be misleading. 
One such word is bonnet, which often is translated as bad, but bonnet can be a noun in which case it means evil or sin. But when it occurs as an attributive adjective, it is known as evil. And uh, uh, it describes people that do evil, malicious acts. For instance, you can say, Oye ni pa bone, translates to he or she is an evil person. Or it can say, you can say, Oye a de bone, which means he does bad things or bad activities. So the, the difference between the two, yes, is this one is to be and this one is to do. But the, what we want to emphasize here is the bonnet and, and the different um, meanings that that term brings. Note, do not use bonnet to describe your friends because <laughs> you'll be describing them as evil. And also, do not use bonnet to describe food. You can't say, you know... That the, you don't say that the food is bad by using bonnet. If you say bonnet when you mention food, you're saying that the food is evil and, and that's not possible. One final thing to say about attributive ad adjectives is that some of them can reflect number. Let's look at the following examples. You can tell that it's windows because of this ah. And kaketwa. There's nothing in front of these kids, why? So it's gonna make it, it's just singular, it says small car. And un cra un ketua. See the difference between ketua and un ketua? So I have cats, you know, small cats. This N lets you know that it's cats and not cats.